In this video, you're going to learn how to create this animation. Okay, great. So as you can see, we've got these three devices which slide and rotate in, and then we've got some websites that are scrolling up um, on the devices. So this looks really good if you want to showcase your website um, on different types of devices. So let's just go and delete everything here. And if I go to the start, I'm just going to zoom in a bit closer, like so, and that's good. Okay, so what we want to do first of all is add those devices. So if you click on this image icon, and click on devices and just select your devices. So let's go iPad and we'll go maybe this phone here. Okay, cool. So I'm just going to select everything and just make it all a bit smaller like that. And then what you want to do is basically, you know, resize the devices to, you know, a good looking size for each of the devices so that they look realistic. So let's bring this iPhone down a lot like that and maybe place it like so. And you can reposition these, you know, however you like. It doesn't have to be exactly like this. But yeah, there we go. We've got our devices. I'm going to make these devices about 10 seconds long. So let's just drag these up. Okay, and what I'm also going to do is rename this, them. So let's go to iMac. And we'll go with this one, iPad. Okay, cool. So now I've got my devices over here. What I want to do is animate them so that they slide in. So what I'm going to do is select this iMac and go to motion. And then I'm going to go down to in and slide and rotate. So let's go slide left rotation and just add that in like that. Okay, cool. So you can see this one looks all right, but it's, it's quite rotated. So what I want to do is just minimize that rotation. And so if I select this animation here and go to um, the settings, and I'm also going to remove the fade and I'm going to make this about minus 30. Okay, that looks pretty cool. And if I preview this, that's looking good. So I could also go through and just use Command C or you could use Control C to copy this animation and then apply it to the iPhone. Let's have a look at this. But I want to actually add a bit more rotation to this. So I might just go with something like minus, we could go with minus 60. Let's have a look at that. Maybe even a bit more, maybe like minus 90. Whoops. Like that. And let's just preview that. Okay, it's looking pretty cool. And I'm also going to just uh, make the iPhone offset a little bit so that it comes a little bit later after the iMac like that. And that's looking really good. Cool. So what I want to do now is also select the uh, iPad over here and go to motion and we're going to slide it in from the other direction. So let's go with slide right rotation and just select that. And let's preview this. Okay, it's looking pretty cool. And I'm just going to disable the fade there and maybe just remove the angle, maybe make it something like 60. Okay, cool. So this is the first part of this animation. Go on to the next video and I'll show you how to create the screens and then we're going to go through and animate the website on the screen. Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to add the screens to the devices and then we're going to start animating the websites inside the screen. So what you want to do is basically uh, click on this shape tool and go to rectangle and just click and add a rectangle. I'm just going to adjust the color slightly so that I can see a bit better. And I'm just going to use sh hold down shift while I'm scaling so I can move the shape into the same size as the screen like that. And I'm just going to, again, just drag this out so that it fits the same duration as the iMac. So let's just bring this down here. And I'm going to call this one screen like that. And let's go ahead and do the same thing for the iPad. So let's just bring that up. And I'll just, again, choose this color like this and hold down shift and drag that out like that and bring it across and I'm just going to position this one under here and yeah, if I just zoom in a bit closer I'm going to go through and select the rectangle again and just hold down shift and kind of you know resize like that and you can also adjust the corners so I'm going to go to advance and on the border, I'm just going to drag the border radius a little bit so that we can create that kind of roundedness. Um, if I just zoom in a bit closer, 
So you can just bring it up like that. Something like that. And it doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to put it behind the actual device so that, yeah, we create this screen. So let's just drag that same duration and call this one iPhone screen. Okay, cool. So what I'm going to do is just, again, choose that same gray color so we can see it a bit better and just drag it underneath like that. And you can see now we've got these placeholder screens for our devices. And what we're going to do is basically copy the animations and paste them onto the screen. So I'm going to select this animation, use Command C, and then paste it onto the iPhone screen. And the same thing with the iPad, I'm just going to click on the animation, Command C, and the iPad screen, just paste that. And again, with the iMac screen. Okay, cool. So let's just preview that. So it's looking not too bad. Um, you'll have to see over here with the iMac, just as you can see, the screen's a little bit off, um, mainly because the anchor point or the rotation point is a little bit different to the actual iMac because iMac's a bigger um, yeah, illustration, I guess, or icon. So what I'm going to do is click on this uh, screen and select the animation and click on the settings over here and just bring this across a little bit like so, like that. Maybe bring it down a little bit, let's say minus uh, 25 or so. Actually, maybe just leave that minus 30. Um, maybe make it a little bit bigger like that. So if we see this come across, and that's looking good now. So let's just, yeah, preview that in real time like this. It's looking cool. Okay, great. So now we've created those. What we want to do is basically add our website onto these uh, screens. So to do that, what I'm going to do is just grab this website uh, design. And this is just a screenshot that I took of a website. Um, I'm just going to drag this down, kind of resize it like so. And you just want to make it the same kind of size as the device. So in terms of the width, let's have a look at that. Okay, it's looking good. Like that, okay, cool. So what I'm gonna do is just, again, adjust that duration. And like so, make it the same as the iMac and just bring this underneath the iMac like that. So now you can see we've got the screen, uh, or the website basically beneath the actual screen, but it's not um, inside the screen. So what we have to do is basically right click on that and go mask with and click on screen. And you can see now that we've got that um, screen on the actual screen, okay? So what I'm also gonna do is just copy that animation and add it to the actual website so that the website also animates on, okay, like this, okay? So again, you kind of have to play around sometimes with um, the starting points. So let's just bring this across like that and bring it up a little bit. Oh, let's have a look, actually not the rotation, we'll bring the Y on up like this. Yeah, and kind of play around with it till you get it exactly how you want it. Like that, and if I just preview this, we've got this nice animation like that. Looks pretty cool. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that. And again, you just do the same thing. I'm just gonna lock this mask for now. And I might just quickly just lock these actually and hide them so that I can easily play around with these ones. So. What I'm going to do now is just grab the iPad uh, website and just drag and drop that like so. And again, just kind of scale this up like that. It's looking good. Okay, now I'll just drag this across and place this over here on the screen like that. And just right click on this and go mask with the iPad screen like that. And again, just copy this animation and just paste it onto the iPad site like that. Okay, cool. I might just quickly make that a little bit bigger like this. And let's just preview that. Okay, again, so this one's a little bit off. So what we wanna do is, again, adjust this animation. So just the starting point again. So starting Y, so just bring it across and starting X. Bring this a little bit more over. 
it's a little bit fiddly, I guess, um, at times, but yeah, you just got to kind of play around with it until you got in the right position like that. And if I just preview this, it's looking good. Okay, and again with the iPhone screen, just grab your mobile site and just position that on the screen like so. And yeah, I'll just go through and do the same thing. Okay, cool. So now we've got the screens in place, as you can see like this. Um, what I wanna do is animate the screen. So to do that, basically you wanna create some custom animation. So let's start with, uh, let's start with the iPhone screen. So if you click on the uh, iPhone, uh, the mobile side over here, I'm just gonna uh, lock this phone and just actually click on this hide one so we can just see the actual website. And on the animations over here, what you wanna do is, I might just lock that screen as well and click on the plus icon and click on position like that. Okay, so now what you wanna do is basically um, use the Y axis over here and just kind of bring it up as much as you like, something like that. And then just drag this to the entire duration of the track. So we've got this going like this. And you can adjust the easing as well. If you right click on the easing, maybe you wanna have it just maybe power one. So it's just easing a little bit at the end. Or you can have it with both as well. So let's say with both. So it kind of eases in and then starts to go a bit faster and then ease out again. Okay, like that. And you just repeat the same uh, process with the other side. So I'm just gonna lock the iPad device and just hide it and go to the iPad site. Okay, and then I'm just gonna, on the animations over here, the first uh, row, just click on the plus icon, click on position. And we wanna move the time indicator to the end of the animation and just adjust the Y axis. So just bring it up like that. And again, just like drag this out like that. And I might make the easing both power one like this. Okay, and yeah, you can play around with the easing depending on how you want it to appear. And I'm just gonna um, unhide those tracks actually and just show the main website, the iPad website. I'll just remove that hiding and bring this up like that. Okay, cool. So then I wanna go through and click on the plus icon for the animations and click on position like that. Again, bring the time indicator to the end and just simply use the Y axis over here and just drag it up like that. And again, just drag this across. So if we just preview this from the start, and this is how what we've created um, in those two videos, adding a device and adding screens to your device and animating the website, just like that. So what you wanna do is yeah, just play around with the easing, play around with um, you know your website. Maybe you don't wanna have the main website scrolling so much. So what we could do is just um, bring it back up of it so it's not so fast like that and just bring this across and there we go we've got a really nice looking design and animation for showcasing our website um, using the devices as well as the screens and the mask tool and some animation so have a go with that um, and if you enjoyed this video give it a like and yeah have fun creating